Praise him in the temple and dance. Praise him with the stringed instruments and organs. Thank you, Lord. Praise him upon the loud cymbals. Hallelujah. Praise him upon the high sound cymbals. Let everything that have bread. Praise you, the Lord. Praise you, the Lord. May the Lord have a blessing of the reading of his word.
forget the joy, hallelujah. I'll never forget the peace, hallelujah. Too good to start off, but but 
all prayers and everyone is just being there for him. Yeah. 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 Praying over him. Yeah. Like Emmanuel putting that oil on him. Yeah. On the
I'm going to give this part of the service over into the hands of our pastor, Bishop Winston L. Singleton, Sr. Son Jesus Christ, who is the head, the author of our life. I brought Minister Nathan family up here. Will you mind standing? This is the old man. Yeah. Until we were at 
almost to one day. And they started feeding. They don't feed anybody that's going to die. It's not, it's not worth it. But they started feeding her, and I was so thankful. I actually, I broke out of tongues. I was, I was so thankful. I mean, I was just, thank you, Jesus. 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 to breathe when we take her off this ventilator. I said, okay. What am I going to do? God's going to restore her. If he has to give her a trach to get to the restoration, then, then he will. But she didn't need it. She didn't need a trach. She breathed on her own. And the doctors, the doctors didn't really know what to do with me because I wasn't scared. I wasn't, I wasn't, I, I wasn't in doubt. I knew what God said to me when I was praying over her. And I said, doctor, thank you for your, your words and your, your information. This helps me know how to pray better. Because I'm filtering everything you say through my faith. And God has the final word. Amen. And she's probably going to walk out of here. She came close. But six months almost to the day from her being released from the hospital, she took her first independent steps. It's supposed to take years. But God, God has knit her back together before our eyes. And he's still knitting her together. Yes. And a lot of people say, man, that must have been so hard for you. Yeah. Maybe a couple times here and there, but for the most part, it was just a beautiful time of the yeah. Lord. Yeah. And I just, I clung to the Lord because it's easy to cling to him yes, when you're happy and things are going well. Right. But when things are hard, yeah. Come on. then the doubt the yes. enemy comes in and yes. whispers, maybe he can't do it. That's right. That's right. That's right. Maybe maybe she won't be healed. Yes. Yes. Look how bad she is. Yes. She's been on a ventilator for weeks. Maybe she'll never be able to come off of this. But God. And we are so grateful for his healing. And he can heal anybody. He can heal anything. He is the creator, and he is the author of life, and he has the final say. All our days are numbered in the book of life. And that pool did not shorten those days. Thank you.
Because this day, young man, yeah. well, let him come up and talk. Lord, how much
Hallelujah. Whatever is given to his holy name. That's why he sent his son Jesus Christ into this earth that we may lift it up. We may magnify it. We may give him glory because without him, we are done. I, I guess that's not all right. I, 
honored <laughs> for taking this moment. I won't be here next week. And next week is um, the pastor's appreciation. Right. So my wife and I are going to give our tithing right now, our offering, our love offering to the pastor. So you can't say that we skipped down because we didn't want to give him any money. We had pre-planned this. So, as I take my seat, like I said, it, the spirit is subject to the problem. The spirit was high. The message was prayer works. Prayer. Hallelujah. Brother Nathan Jr. and his wife prayed and prayed and prayed and prayed. And prayed for God. You see the results. My dear brother, we were praying for him, praying for him, praying for him. You see prayer works. My experience, prayer work. Your experience, prayer work. Hallelujah. God bless you, and may the Lord keep you. The power of prayer. Happy Father's Day again to those that are fathers, single mothers that are taking care of the duties of a father and a mother. We give you honor also. It's no easy task raising young men today. It is tough. We're going to turn it over to the Bishop Junior. <laughs> Let us say praise the Lord. Let us say praise the Lord again. After hearing first, as the service went along, we really didn't need a message. We as people of God, we need the word of God every day. It's our daily bread. But if you heard the testimonies, real in real life, of your own face sitting here after hearing those testimonies is there one that wants to be transformed that one that wants to be healed like these two people were healed what do you mean here I'm, I'm healthy I'm, I'm, I'm talking about the healing of your soul is there one that says, I'm tired of sin. I want to be healed. I can't kick my habits, my bad habits, my drug habits, my sexual health. I can't kick them, but I want to be healed. Is there one? You can be healed today. And the way to be healed is to listen to the words of Jesus. He said, you must be born again of the water and of the spirit. Born of the water is when you're baptized in water, immersed, buried with him by baptism in the name of Jesus Christ. We have a pool right behind this curtain right here. We have a baptismal pool. You don't even have to get in there with the clothes jam on. We have a change of clothes for you. For the ladies, we have caps. You can be baptized today in the name of Jesus Christ. You can be healed spiritually today in the name, if you get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Then Jesus said, and born of the Spirit. Acts 2.38 says, repent. Repent. Have a change of heart towards the sins that you've done as a child all the way up to what you're doing now, how old you are now. But most importantly, it's the remission of the Adamic sin, the sin that Adam put on all of us. 
the entire world, entire civilization throughout history, that sin can be removed today. Plus anything you have done while you're here. It can be washed away. Not just in water. Water is the agent, but the detergent, the cleansing force is the name of Jesus Christ, which brings his blood in that water. And all your sin, my soul, okay, here. All your sin will be gone. Is there one? Just one. Jesus died for the whole world, but he died for you. Today. If you were the only one existing in this world, Jesus still would have went to the cross. Yes, yes. Amen. Jesus. Jesus. Oh, yeah. Is there one? You can get up now. The Bible says today, today. is the day of salvation. Harden not your heart. As you see the day approaching, harden not your heart when Jesus is knocking at the door of your heart. He's knocking on the door saying, let me in. Jesus is not going to force his way in. He's not going to crowbar and try to break in to your heart. He wants you to open the door of your heart and let him in. Is there one? You can be saved today. This is a great salvation. As you heard the testimony, this is what goes along with the salvation of God. There's benefits. He said, call for the elders of the church and anoint them with oil and my soul case here and pray the prayer of faith. And they shall be healed. Is there one? Just one. Jesus, I want to tell you how, how bad Jesus wants you to come to him. Hallelujah. Let us say praise the Lord. Is there another one? Jesus said, he told us, his lambs, his sheep, his baptized believers, his ministers. She just wants prayer. All right. So is there one? Jesus said, he told us, compel them to come in. Compel these to beg. That's how bad Jesus wants you to get up today. He said, beg them to come to me. Is there one? If not, may the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. In the name of Jesus Christ. We certainly did enjoy not only being Father's Day, but our Father visited us in this house today. We're so grateful for that. And we're going to ask for you that say you need prayer. And maybe you that is kind of confused about, well, I don't know if I want to get baptized today. But you'll say, I'll stand for prayer for the Lord to prepare my soul. We don't know. When that number is called, we don't want to take a chance on our number being called and we didn't surrender. That's all he's asking. Just surrender, surrender. 
So for you that are in between and you just say, Lord, I, I, I need a little bit more time, a little bit more of your grace, stay after service right here on this front line. Our pastor will be offering healing and prayer. And that is for anyone, even if you want a closer walk with the Lord, it's healing in that as well. So we ask the ushers, if you'd be so kind as to usher everyone out that is not in need of prayer, for you that are in need, come directly to this first pew and wait for the pastor. Gift of healing is available for you. Please stand. <laughs> Want to grow on, brother? Under your name, Jesus, we thank you for anointing this service for letting us know that prayer, prayer is the key that we should focus on today. Hallelujah. We don't know what else we got to pray for, but Father, you know, and you will give us that confirmation. We don't think, and we're not taking this day in vain because prayer was the song, prayer was the message, and the praise of prayer was the testimony. As we leave this day, and we're celebrating Father's Day. Lord, we ask that your blood will cover us all, protect us, and keep us with the mind to pray. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. amen.